Now we are going to do some restructuring or renaming things with our Django project in order to make it uh, some unified one. Um, so I don't like this backend name. Instead, uh, I need to be this the config because the, all the configuration and setting things will reside inside this uh, folder. But this is not a simple thing, just rename uh, the folder. Uh, we need to make sure that the root URL conf now is config URLs uh, and um, <laughs> let's just I it, it, it should should be enough here but inside the ASGI yeah this is a config settings and this is is inside WSGI of course there's a config uh, settings. Uh, let's make sure that nothing is well, broken here and I'm going to start our development server. Now, uh, yeah, Python manage py run server on server. Uh, no module named backend as I was pretty sure here like this is not backend settings but config settings. Yeah, rename this the, the folder name in the main manage by file also. Let's just run now. Uh, back in WSGF we could not be loaded because it is yeah not properly not properly what? Hmm. And th this thing's everything all broken up when I was trying to rename. So let's just quickly figure out what was the uh, problem here? Ah, right. Uh, WSGI application should be config WSGI application. Uh, let's come back. Um, fire up our run server. Nice. Let's just quickly check. Quickly, not quickly. Um, where is our. Yeah. Uh, local host. Yeah, installed, worked successfully. Congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the remaining thing here is uh, apply the migrations. So Python manage by make migrations and migrate. Nice and clean. And then fire up uh, the open server again nothing no warnings remained anymore uh, nice again we should check that uh, this installed worked successfully uh, that's for our configuring our Django project and renaming it so you can use this as a, a feature reference uh, how you can actually uh, rename the, uh, the base uh, the main config folder uh, to be to be unified because it's intuitive to have config and then some apps here not backend backend and then up apps here uh, that's it uh, for this video and see you in the next video where we are going to set up our uh, simple GVT uh, and user things I assume we need to well first we need to uh, extend the user model so see you in the next video bye